Hello and welcome back. You're watching Beyond World is One with me, Raisha Segal. And it is phase two of the Lok Sabha elections in India today. A total of 88 seats goes to polls today in 12 states and one union territory. This is Beyond's continuous coverage of the Indian elections. And this is also a news point that you're watching. The show where we cut through the noise, get you the latest from all across the globe. On news point today, Israel is determined in eradicating the Hamas militant group. And it has now said that it is moving forward with the Rafah invasion. The question being, why is Rafah so important for Israel in its war against Hamas? And how Israel is preparing for the offensive as it awaits approval by the war cabinet? We'll, of course, be tracking that very closely on the show today. But first, the headlines. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he plans to visit China in May. The trip is likely to be the first overseas visit of Putin's new six-year term, following an election in March. He last paid a visit to China in October 2023. China urges U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to address rising disagreements or risk a downward spiral between the two powers as talks open in Beijing. Over a dozen arrested after police break up six-hour pro-Palestinian demonstrations at Ohio State University. Demonstrations spread across U.S. campuses as police clamped down on the demonstrators. India Supreme Court rejects petitions seeking 100% verification of votes cast on electronic voting machines with paper slips generated through the VVPAT method. Eighty-eight constituencies across 12 states and one union territory votes today in India. Elections are being held in all seats, 20 seats of Kerala, a chunk of Karnataka, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. Asian shares trade cautiously as markets sober up to the idea that U.S. rate cuts are some time away. The yen and Japanese government bonds struggle ahead of a closely watched policy decision by the Bank of Japan. <laughs> 